Hi. So here actually we are going to derive a formula to use it as a shortcut in the problems where the sale prices of two articles are same and on one you are making a profit of x percent and on the other you are making a loss of x percent. Right. Then there will always be a loss of x by 10 whole square percent. And this is very useful formula when you are handling multiple choice question. So here we are going to derive that formula and actually the problem says show when sale prices of two articles are same and on one you are making a profit of x percent and on another you are making a loss of x percent and then we have to show that there will always be a loss of x by 10 whole square percent right so we are yes of course going to start with basics so let's assume that sale price of both the articles is equal to y. So I'm going to assume the sale price of first article as SP1 and this is equal to sale price of second article that is SP2 and let this be equal to y. Right and if both the sale prices are equal then total sale price will be equal to SP1 plus SP2 and this will be equal to y plus y that is equal to 2y. And what is happening next? Next, if we talk about the first article, they are making a profit of X percent. So if I assume the cost price of first article as CP1, then in this case, sale price will be equal to 100 plus X percent of cost price 1. That means it will be equal to 100 plus X by 100 multiplied by cost price 1, right? So from here, we will get y is equal to 100 plus x by 100 of CP1, right? Or from here, we can write CP1 is equal to 100 y by 100 plus x, right? Let's call it as equation number one and in the second case where we are making a loss of x percent sale price of that article which is sale price 2 will be equal to 100 minus x by 100 of cost price 2 right we know both the sale prices are equal so sale price 2 will also be equal to y and this will be equal to 100 minus x by 100 of cp2 right here we are talking about the second article that's why we are taking CP2 so from here cost price 2 will be equal to 100 Y divided by 100 minus X right let's call this as equation number 2 okay and from here total cost price will be equal to the sum of these two cost prices right so total cost price will be equal to total CP will be equal to CP1 plus CP2 and this will be equal to 100Y divided by 100 plus X plus 100Y divided by 100 minus X right yes and if we take LCM LCM will be 100 plus x multiplied by 100 minus x right yes we can use a formula of a plus b multiplied by a minus b but let it be like this only for the time being and this when divided by 100 plus x will give us 100 minus x and 100 minus x multiplied by 100 y will be 100 multiplied by 100 is 10,000 y minus 100 x y and here we will get 100 plus x multiplied by 100 minus x divided by 100 minus x will give us 100 plus x and when this gets multiplied by 100 y we will get 10,000 y plus 100 x y right so from here this 100 x y and 100 x y will get cancelled and we will have total cost price as 20,000 y divided by 100 square minus x square right yes 
our total sale price was 2y right y was the sale price of one article and both the articles had the same sale price so total sale price was equal to 2y and if you see properly this total cost price if I solve it further you can also write it like 20,000 y divided by this 100 square will give you 10,000 minus x square right so if you see this cost price properly this will be more than 2y because 20,000 y divided by 10,000 will give you 2y but in denominator we have a number which is actually lesser than 10,000 right because this x is a positive number and x square will definitely be a positive number and 10,000 minus x square will give you a number which is lesser than 10,000 so if we reduce the denominator the value of this whole expression will increase right so the value of this fraction will be definitely more than 2y right so we have got sale price as 2y and we have got cost price which is more than 2y so loss if we talk about it will be equal to cost price which is 20,000 y divided by 10,000 minus x square minus the sale price which is 2y right and if we solve it further we will get an LCM of 10,000 minus x square and 10,000 minus x square divided by 10,000 minus x square will give you 1 and 1 multiplied by 20,000 y will give you 20,000 y minus here we don't have anything in the denominator of 2y so if I put 1 it's not going to change any value and 10,000 minus x square divided by 1 will give us 10,000 minus x square and when 10,000 minus x square gets multiplied by 2y we will get 20,000 y and minus minus plus 2x square y right and here this 20,000 y will cancel this 20,000 y and we have got loss is equal to 2x square y divided by 10,000 minus x square right so this is the loss and how do we find loss percent this is the loss over the cost price which is equal to this right so loss percent will be equal to loss by cost price multiplied by 100 right so loss over here is 2x square y divided by 10,000 minus x square divided by CP that means multiplied by the reciprocal of the cost price and cost price was this right so its reciprocal will be 10,000 minus x square divided by 20,000 y and multiplied by 100 right these will come in brackets okay so this bracket will cancel this bracket these two zeros will get cancelled by these two zeros two ones are two two ones are two and two zeros and this y will get cancelled by this y so loss percent from here is actually x square by 100 which can actually be written as x by 10 whole square right so in these kind of cases you will always earn a loss and the loss will be equal to x by 10 whole square percent right so this was just a derivation and now you can directly use this formula to solve problems in competitive exams where you need not to do step-by-step -step calculation bye bye